no amount of training really can be a substitute for actual practice in policing such uh, incidents. And in this light, uh, would he consider, for example, <coughs> uh, that the police should allow uh, more peaceful protests in Singapore in certain designated roads so that the police can actually on a regular basis test their policing capabilities in terms of uh, policing cause based crowds? Uh, perhaps Ms. Lim might want to go one step further and say allow the protests to get out of hand so that they get a little bit more practice. Madam, the answer is obvious. We don't want damage to property or, or loss of life, but peaceful protests are arguably a freedom, a civil liberty we want to protect. We, we can see the, the logic or lack of it in uh, purposely allowing protests and demonstrations just in order for the SOC to practice. But I should say that one of the reasons why I do want to increase the size of the SOC is because we do have uh, more events in Singapore, uh, large events, large-scale events, and you don't really need to deliberately allow protests to take place in order to give the SOC practice. Um, a typical football match and other, other events like that already provide the SOC quite a lot of activity and action, and quite frankly, I don't think many Singaporeans would want to see more chaos demonstrations on the streets disrupting their daily lives and also taking up resources.